Good evening to you again. We're just about 13 minutes away from kickoff there at Geld One Field. It's going to be a chilly evening, but we don't have a lot of wind, so that's the good news. 40 degrees at 7 o'clock, and then we'll be falling quickly through the 30s tonight. I think 35 by 11 later on under starry skies. The moon's sure beautiful out there, too. Uh, last night it was, so take a look at that tonight. Tomorrow morning, the only concern, patchy fog and freezing fog early on. So look out for that on your morning commute. You might run into it. Some of us won't. Other than that, lots of sunshine tomorrow. 50 degrees by noontime, and then we'll be falling back through the 40s again tomorrow night. 46 degrees at 5 o'clock. Had to show you this time lapse look at all of the sailboats out in front of Salties on the Columbia. You're looking at the interstate bridge off in the distance. Just a gorgeous sunset with the planes taken off from PDX there at Salties on the Columbia. Here's a live look outside. You can see there's not much of a breeze downtown. Winds out of the east southeast 11 miles per hour at the airport. 44 degrees there. Our high today was right on target for average 50 degrees in Portland. Why we felt chillier is those overnight lows. The average overnight low this time of year, 39 degrees for Portland. And last night we hit 29, so about 10 degrees below where we typically are during the night hours. East of the Cascades today, your highs in the 40s, 30s for Pendleton. 38 was all we could do there. And the east winds, believe it or not, are starting to calm down. Yesterday we had gusts of 74 miles per hour at Crown Point today 68 miles per hour and all of these peak gusts were earlier on today before noontime. High pressure continues to dominate our map here so I'll show you what that means for the next 24 hours. Not a lot. Here's tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Maybe some patchy fog in the valley and east of the Cascades. Other than that lots of sunshine. Then some more clouds start to creep into our skies. This is 7 a.m. on Tuesday so we'll wake up to more clouds than we've seen in uh, about a week or so and then as the day wears on our model indicating the potential for a few showers out at the coast, even inland by mid afternoon. But our atmosphere is so dry, there's a decent chance we won't see any rain at all. But I have to mention it. So just look out for a few showers Tuesday afternoon and into Tuesday evening. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. You can see a few clouds around, but dry for all of your Thanksgiving travel. Another gorgeous shot set in by David Cox today. He's out at Manzanita. Not a cloud in sight. Send us your pictures. As you can tell, I love sharing them. News at Coin. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. A gorgeous day out along the coast. Mostly sunny skies. I-5 corridor. Just look out for that patchy fog and freezing fog. Could be slick if it does develop. So uh, watch your morning show tomorrow to see how that comes along. Patchy freezing fog east of the Cascades and an air stagnation advisory. Lots of sun through the gorge and over the Cascades. Still a little breezy at the western mouth of the gorge, but nothing compared to what we've seen this weekend. Clouds on the increase Tuesday. Partly cloudy Wednesday. Thanksgiving looks partly Partly cloudy, 53 degrees, can't beat that. And you'll notice the overnight lows because of the clouds are a little bit more mild than, you know, the chilly nights that mm -hmm. we've had uh, this weekend. So we're talking upper 30s instead of upper 20s. And we are looking at the beginning of next week. It looks chilly and it looks like we'll have precipitation. So we're talking about low snow levels then, or at least it looks like that now. Again, that's a week out, but we'll be keeping an eye on that.